look at that. Goosebumps. All over. Today's been really interesting because we've got three very different photographers all shooting with exactly the same lens. And it's great to see how differently different photographers with different styles can achieve different results. I love prime lenses. This lens gives me the absolute opportunity to create beautiful images. Primes are used for photographers so they can be creative, having a different perspective of the model that you're shooting. It's a really good way, actually. Don't like lenses that feel too sort of flimsy and too light. The lens is great. It's lightweight, but it's robust. Because of how I hold my camera, I want something to feel natural, especially when I'm using the other hand to direct. I can move, I can get different compositions and everything just looks perfect straight out of camera. The reason why it's such a favorite portrait lens is it has virtually no distortion. So it's showing the face in the truest That's and most great. flattering way. The most important thing for me going into a shoot is that my client looks incredible and they look beautiful. This lens at 85 mil is perfect for that. I'm so excited about the creative options that this lens actually gives me because it allows me to get really close and personal with my model. That's good. Can we just release a little bit more hair? Slightly, yeah, that's it. And open up that shoulder so you're really straight on with the camera. The combination of the Z9 and the 85 is an absolute killer. The way that the autofocus system works with the lens is a total game changer. I think that's the special thing about this. When you're shooting at 1.2, you can be quite close to your background and still have that separation. I think the combination of the 85mm focal length with the f1.2 aperture just allows another level of atmosphere with that depth of field. It's that separation from the background. It's isolating a sharp focus on the eye and it can bring so much drama and emotion to a portrait. If you can see like even the details on the lips, the details on the eyebrows, this is what I'm looking for. The best thing about this lens is it gives you that option to shoot at 1.2 or pump it up to 2.8, especially when you want to get details. It's not just sharpness or depth of field, it's all of these elements that this lens gives that are really, really important. Having that absolute complete range of apertures is brilliant. I mean, the creative opportunities are endless. That's crazy. That's crazy. Everyone shut down the studio, it's over. The interesting thing, it does allow everyone to be creative in their own way and to express their own creativity using the different focal ranges. Now, come on now. Hey. I have an idea of what the shot is going to be before and then when you get your subject into position that's when you start to really like refine it. I think it's important that you set the aesthetic and creative parameters and then within that you are spontaneous, you're able to play and share ideas and let your subject contribute as well. I just like to be creative. I don't try and plan every single moment for every single shot. I try and let things flow as well. It's so important to make sure that you capture those moments correctly. You're never going to get that opportunity again and you really need to make sure you nail it first time. This is my favourite one. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's the one, yeah. With what I do, it's very rare that you ever see other photographers work and it was a real privilege to share a studio with them today. Come on! We're always working alone more often than not, so getting to work with two other incredible photographers is huge. I was working alongside two amazing photographers, so it was really honour to kind of learn from them and to see how they use the lens as well. 